Number 18, trying to find the vertical and the horizontal asymptotes. Let's do the horizontal first. That's what I always do first. We have that expression. Bobo Botten eats DC. What it stands for is we're always looking at exponents. If the exponent's bigger on the bottom, it's going to be Y is zero. That's what the O stands for. Bigger on top, N means there's not going to be any, none. If exponents are the same, we divide the coefficients of numbers out in front. What's the case here? We have an X to the first up top, X to the second, the bottom. So it's bigger on the bottom, bigger on bottom. So it's going to be Y is zero. So for the horizontal, we say, hey, there's a horizontal Y is zero. For vertical, we simply take the denominator and set it equals zero because we're looking for what X's can't be and we're drawing lines at those spots. Well, so if I set this equal to zero, the first thing I notice is it's a trinomial. You're going to have to factor it. It's a 12. What multiplies together to give me 12? It adds to give you the 8. We've done these a thousand times at this point. We should pretty quickly see, oh, a 2 and a 6. 2 times 6 is 12, and 2 plus 6 gives you the 8. So we set that equal to zero, so then set each piece to zero. Solving it, subtract 2, subtract 2. So we're going to have one line at x is negative 2, subtract 6, subtract 6. We're going to have another vertical line at negative 6. So what this guy would look like, and there's your answers, that's all you have to put. We have one line at y is 0, so we have it down the x-axis. There's our horizontal guy. We have one guy here at x is negative 2, and then we have another guy here at x is negative 6. So we have a crazy looking graph through here. Um, you know, you can go put in Desmos, see what it looks like. Who knows? Could be something like this. I don't know. Remember, it's going to approach these asymptotes, but not quite touch them. Okay. Number 18. Nice and easy.